Well, it's finally here. Video game food review. I don't know what made me think of this concept, but you know what? I like video game food. Sometimes it looks good, sometimes it's quite crusty. And I said to myself, maybe I should take a look at various video game foods and just talk about them and see which ones are good and which ones suck. Thank you to everyone that submitted, fellow audience members, mods of mine, and uh, friends for submitting some video game food for me to take a look at. Some of these uh, foods I may not know the origins of because they weren't labeled properly, but we'll just take a look and maybe some of you can answer questions in the comments if such a thing is, uh, is, is happening. All right. Let's start with the Final Fantasy Sandwich. Undeniably one of the best pieces of video game food. So, I think this is Final Fantasy 15. I'm pretty sure it is. What qualifies in making video game food look great? Well, it has to look like the food. It has to make me hungry. Just so happens I'm a little hungry right now, and that sandwich does look pretty good. I think there's eggplant on there. Maybe some romaine lettuce. Uh, I would I would try that. But you can see this is fully 3D. I don't know which part of this is sprite versus which part of it is just like polygons, but the poly count must be tremendous in this particular piece. Also, we are listening to the Overcooked soundtrack. We'll also be taking a look at um, food like that's 2D as well. So here's a sandwich from Webkins. I don't know which maniac submitted this. I don't understand what I'm looking at really, but I'm going to say that this sandwich does not look appetizing because you're eating goo. Fire and ice goo? Yeah, I don't know about that. So here's a game called Dragon's Crown. And um, this is 2D. This is just art of food. And you can see there's... Man, George R. R. Martin would love this. You have a variety of different dishes snail soup that's a pass carrot soup maybe onion rings very much yes sauteed carrots i like ah julienne sauteed worms no thank you onion soup yes myconid soup i don't what what chicken soup yes snake stew Ugh, no the french fries look like just half-baked potatoes, but sure. So yeah, whatever this stuff is, there's there's another image too. Um, to me, this is pretty good looking art. I mean, I like the art style too, but I like the, the way some of this, the ham steak looks nice. I assume this is an RPG or something medieval. How about Resident Evil 7? Now this is fucking disgusting food. I've played Resident Evil 7, I know the context of this, but there's blood on it. To me, the blood's the only flavor you're gonna get, because otherwise this is just like prawn slop. It, it's rotten, it's decolored, it's disgusting, and there's plenty of, of beer on the table. So just drink that beer and don't think about it. I don't think this is gonna be in any order whatsoever, so I'll pick my favorites. At the end of the segment, I'll give you my top three pieces of food. Here's a game called Miramasa. A little crusty, but Miramasa, I believe, was a Switch game. And that looks like shrimp tempura over ramen, perhaps, or udon. Looks delicious. I like that it's a, uh, like a little animated thing. But you can kind of see where the animation, it's like chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeah, this didn't need to be this detailed. That's the other thing about video game food I would like to um, discuss is sometimes a developer will go above and beyond for no good reason. I mean, maybe there are plenty of good reasons to do so. But for me, I'm thinking about these poor artists making all this video game food. 
<laughs> and it's such a small aspect of the game. I mean, unless it's a cooking game, of course. But this is another one from Yurimasa. Same for this. Is that that stuff? D Dango? Like, when it gets pulled. It's nice. I'm definitely impressed with this level of food. And here's also some more from Miramasa, just uh, in regards to... We've seen the dango, and I think that's particular soup, but... Or maybe a little different, but yeah, you've got um, a lot of different types of dishes and some sushi, too. Very nice! So Twilight Princess has a, a whole subplot regarding food. You have to actually get pumpkins and uh, some other stuff, and then... Oh, someone's actually making it. Just the smell of that pumpkin alone. I do not like the smell of pumpkin. You know what? Pumpkin spice is not pumpkin, I've learned. I thought it was just, like, pumpkin guts. But the idea of pumpkin, like, on its own... It's, it's gross to me, but maybe you can do something good with it. I'm gonna skip around a little bit. Let's see some onions. All right, you know what? We'll just watch the whole thing because now I'm curious. What is going on? Hey everyone, it's me, Babish. Welcome to Bidging with Babish. I have five guys. Uh. Make some onion. Warm fish stock. So I don't eat pumpkin, I really don't eat fish. You can give me as much shit as you want in the comments. That's fine. But this does not appeal to me in the slightest. But yeah, this was one of my favorite dungeons in Twilight Princess. And, and what you're seeing there in the gameplay was pretty much how I would play the game anyway, so it's familiar. Um, but I do like that the dungeon was unique, and the subplot of grabbing the food items and making a stew, or a soup rather. I will, um, I will never forget it. Also, Zelda and food kind of goes together, right? I mean, Breath of the Wild in particular, that game is all about food. It isn't overflowing, you aren't cooking hard enough. Oh. Well that looks fine. I can I can deal with fresh carrots <laughs> and celery. I kind of feel like there should be a babish recipe for this now. Where's the mushrooms? If we're talking about Zelda and food, there's always some kind of strange mushroom. Oh, salmon. The poor fish. I mean, this is not for me, but I can't deny it looks good. It looks better than that. Because that's just like a raw fish head sticking out of the soup. Superb soup. <laughs> food slut, okay. Well, thank you, food slut, for the video. Um, that brings us to another video here, which... I, this I'm oh definitely God. not going to show the whole thing, because it's seven minutes. This is Monster Hunter World. And this is another one of those games with amazing looking food. In fact, between Final Fantasy and uh, 15 and this, I would almost say that it's like a, almost a tie for first place in regards to best looking food games. I'm sure there are others out there we're going to find out today. But 
yeah, the amount of detail that went into this stuff for Monster Hunter Rise too. Look, look at these, look at these foods. That, I saw a glizzy on the table. Also, do you really want to hunt on a full stomach? It, like, they animated the food. Like, seriously, they have a food department at Capcom. They have to. Delicious. Again, would not recommend hunting on a full stomach, but I don't know, I'm not a monster hunter. So yeah, you're gonna always be impressed with Monster Hunter food. They just put that much effort into it. Let's continue with some food images. Like, here's a game I've not played. Beth, uh, <laughs> Beth Loop from Bethesda. And it's just, uh, I'm gonna zoom in on my own screen here. The fries look a little shiny for my liking. So they're either oily or plastic. It just looks very plasticky. From a far enough distance, this is probably good enough. But up close, it definitely looks like um, prop food, like display food. Still, though, I can't deny that this is some uh, finely detailed burg. So I'll give it that. Not as good as the Final Fantasy sandwich, though. Here's more food from Deathloop. I don't know, uh, the, the bread on that, on that sandwich does not look great. It looks undercooked. That just looks like dough. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Half-Life Alex. So, not strictly food, but, uh, it's just a compilation of assets that are food-related. Food-adjacent. I do remember examining a lot of this stuff and thinking, man, these are good graphics. But, no food per se in this photo, just the receptacles. But also, egg flavor paste. The best in City 17. High fidelity 4K bread. Okay, now I don't know if this was actually in the game or if this is a mod, but G-Man loves it. Same for this roll, which again, up close, looks a little plasticky, but, you know, from a distance, it's probably pretty good. Do not eat. Uh, oh yeah, there's lettuce, or cabbage, rather. I remember this. Okay. That's not chicken. It's labeled as chicken, but that's not chicken. You know what that is. Disgusting is what that is. Lamar! Here's food from Hitman. I think this is the remake, well, the, you know, more recent Hitman, because the graphics are good, but they're also very sharp. I feel like this would, like, it's fine, but I think this kind of food would, like, um, lacerate my fucking mouth. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. Those are macaroons, right? Please correct me if I'm wrong. More Hitman. This is all Hitman. Uh, the ice cream looks a bit slimy. But maybe that's what it's supposed to look like. Just slimy ice cream. The textures on, on that ice cream, the green... Well, you can see it. It's not the best textures, but... It looks close enough like ice cream that I would try that. Yeah. Modern Warfare 2019. Meat. Not appetizing. Right meat in particular, no thanks. What the fuck is this? It just looks like a scummy blanket. It's supposed to be bread with stuff on it? I'm just confused more than anything, but... Okay. Death Stranding Happy Birthday Cake. Now, is this just strawberry cake or red velvet? I don't know. Kinda want cake. Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. At the bottom is... Wait, what's the bottom one? I, I've seen that. That's a famous food. 
let me just check at the bottom cyberpunk 2077 oh so they're doing a comparison just to show you because deus ex came out before that by quite a number of years uh yeah the, the top looks better for its time cyberpunk fries there, there's just no excuse those are absolutely wretched looking fries. Again, mouth laceration fries. The burger is also pretty... I don't know, just something about it doesn't look good. And and also the gruel? Yeah. You know, burger, fry, and gruel. Good fucking menu. Battlefield Hardline Burger. Ooh. Well... It looks better than the previous burgers. There's a little um, sloppage happening in the middle, but I'll I'll take it. I'll 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 deal with that. That's fine. Devil May Cry Five Pizza Slice. Capcom delivering again with like solid-looking food. Like I would I would eat that pizza slice. Sure. Is that pep and some uh, olives? Sure. Yeah. Good. The look on her face. <laughs> and then you have... Okay. So we went from DMC5 back down to DMC3. You know, for its time, though, that's not the worst-looking pizza. Yeah. Hitman ice cream again. Okay, so we've got a repeat or two in here. And here's another Hitman. Uh, it's Cakes. And more desserts. I see a cannolis. Oh man, I want desserts now. I'll tell you what, this is kind of making me hungry. Even if they are a little sharp and slightly low poly, I'm down. I want dessert now. Okay. I had to pause for a moment, but we're good now. The soundtrack just stopped. <laughs> there we go. So this is also Resident Evil 2 Burger. Um, I think it's the same one. Let's let's compare. Uh, it might be. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I see the similarities. Uh, disgusting. Highly detailed, but disgusting. It's well, it might be good. It just looks really melty. It, it looks like, um, melted plastic. That's the problem with some of this food is the amount of food that looks like plastic. And, uh, I would still get kind of hungry by this. But it also looks so disgusting and sloppy that it just looks like everything would, like, fall apart. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe... But yes, Resident Evil food. Thank you, Capcom. <laughs> Fatal Fury fast food. <laughs> I, I love green sandwich. Or just lettuce sandwich, that's it. It's just lettuce on... on bread. Final Fantasy XV stacked sandwich. Okay, so this is the sequel to Other Sandwich. Now I can see the polygons a little bit in the ham, or whatever that is. Uh, that's a lot of sandwich. It's not making me hungry. But it does look pretty... <laughs> it looks edible. But this is a novelty sandwich. This is clown sandwich. In other words, you don't want to eat this. Because uh, you can't. Like, how do you fit this in your mouth? Do you have to, like be a boa constrictor. However, someone at Squaresoft has a bit of a food fetish, so I didn't mean it like that. Oh god. Final Fantasy 15 pizza. That's well, more of a margarita slice. Um, it's got the basil right. Well, that doesn't have to be. At Defara's, they have a, uh, they just put basil. They just snip it with scissors and there's basil all over the pizza and it's awesome. So, yeah, no, that's fine. Looks pretty good. 
the plastic eatiness doesn't um, really interfere as much because pizza is supposed to be like kind of like this, oily. Here's the best one yet. It is the Roblox taco. So to me, this just looks like shit and Lego taco. Great. Yeah, I'll take three. Here's uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Peace Walker Doritos. <laughs> I, what? When were these put in the game? I don't know. Soup. From Shrek Super Slam. Sorry. Shrek Soup Slam. Oh, get out of here. This is clown shit. Get out. I don't want... I mean, Happy Halloween, but I don't want this. I should have that. Hang on. Orange. No, I don't want this. That, you know what? That should be a whole lot easier to find. Oh, is a pumpkin. I don't want that. Give me the juice. No, I don't want that. I really should have that as a sound clip, shouldn't I? Especially... Especially for this segment. <laughs> I Yeah, I definitely don't want this. Final Fantasy XIV grapes. Okay, there's a bit of a controversy. Because these grapes were, like... This partially inspired the segment. Which is just, like, low-poly grapes that kind of looks like Lantern. It kind of looks like, you know what it looks like? It looks like a video game crystal, but with grape texture. Well, boy, have I got news for you, because... Well, A, this was submitted, like, five different times. But the grapes were updated. Look at them now. I'm pretty sure this is what they look like now. Slightly rounder. I have not much to say about it other than I like the original grapes a little bit more. At least they were charming. <laughs> and no, this doesn't make me hungry for grapes. So, uh, sorry, you failed. Squaresoft. Crunchy Chick. Fable. Wait, do you just eat it like this? Oh no. No! I don't want that! Yeah, that, that gets a double. That gets the pumpkin and it gets Limmy. So that that's really... I don't... Definitely don't want that. Here's um, Castlevania Lament of Innocence. For those that don't know, this was the, the PS2 3D Castlevania, the first one. I mean, for a PS2 game, you can tell what it is. Um, there's a charm to a plate. Looking like, you know, I guess this would be an octagon, right? Yeah, there's a charm to it. And, you know, the texture looks pretty good. It's not making me hungry, but it's it's fine. Odin Sphere. So this is like a, a big guide here. This reminds me a lot of Dragon's Crown. The ones we saw earlier. But yeah, just really good illustrated food. Uh, I could go for a churro. The pancake looks good. Mm. What else do we have here? Unused dish. That's my favorite food on the right there. Look at that. Absolutely delicious. I also like stuffed chicken. I wonder if that's like a cordon bleu. But yeah, also really well-drawn food. I guess it's made by rats. Always have rats in your kitchen. That's my advice to prospecting chef, chefs, chefs. Oh, always have rats in your kitchen. They make best food. You saw Ratatouille, didn't you? Punchy Nutkins? <laughs> 
This is also Webkin's. Uh, mosh Potatoes. P-I-T. A-T-O-E-S. Is this like... Also, fuck Webkin's food. Seriously. All of it so far has been... How dare you? But is this like pita potatoes? Like, are, are they trying to do a thing? Jelly guppies? Oh, no. Well, maybe they're just like Swedish fish. We saw this earlier. Hate it. Donut sandwich. Finally, something I would eat from Webkin's. Flaneur Wasserfriesen. It's just water with an iceberg in it. <laughs> All right. Maybe this is a controversial opinion, but fuck you, Webkins. Blustergush. I don't even know what that is. It's mashed potatoes with peas and food coloring. Nope. This is called Aquarus Jelly. It, it's like goldfish inside of Jello. Oh, did they? Did they solidify those goldfish in Jello alive? Fuck you, Webkins. Uh, Rainbow Ray Canape. Is this pig Latin? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Birthday party sandwich. Oh, you mean struggle food. Yeah, this is a struggle meal. Uh, it's two hot dogs, mac and cheese on Wonder Bread. <sighs> I would eat that. I would. Cooking Mama on the Nintendo DS Entertainment System. This is Cream Puffs. Of course Cooking Mom is gonna have good looking food. How could you not? Pudding. There's like a stylized quality to it and it makes me want it even more. Uh, broccoli looks a little crusty here, but this is Mama Lunchbox. I never played this game. Stained glass cookies. Okay. As long as it's not fondant. Fuck fondant. And Webkins. Pudding. La mode. There's that pudding again, but you got some fruit. Would love that. That just made me more hungry for dessert. Pretty nice. Steamed pork buns. I do love me some pork buns. Um, also Cooking Mama, but I've noticed various different art styles across these, so I, I'm wondering if this is different Cooking Mamas. Probably, right? Still enjoyable. This apparently is... This little frog here is is a, a cookie from a game called Cookie Run. I don't, I, I don't... I don't get it. Stardew Valley. I have played this game. I like the game. Miner's Treat. So it's just a lollipop. Strange Bun. Uh. Nah. Eh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. Starfruit. I do remember the starfruits. Uh. I would try a starfruit. It's not making me hungry in any way, shape, or form, but I would try one. Star fragments from Animal Crossing? Wait, these aren't edible. Or are they? Why was this included? Who made this pack? Here's some Animal Crossing food. I forgot Animal Crossing had various foods in it now. So pear pie. Pull apart bread. I mean, the cast iron pan looks amazing. I don't know about the bread. Bread's just kind of globulous, but I would, you know, I would get some pull apart bread if I could right now snack bread don't trust food with happy faces that's my uh, piece of advice like if you see deli meat and there's a clown on it 
Don't eat it. This looks fine, though. Even if a little low quality. Deluxe Sweet Poke Puff. So I guess, which one is this? It's a DS Pokemon. Well, 3DS. Probably played it. Maybe Sun and Moon. But, um, that looks fine. If it's... It makes you wonder, though, is it like dog food? Or like cat food? Like, because you don't want to eat a dog treat? Do Pokemon have special, like, treats? I don't know. Bitter cheese covered curry from Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm trying to think of what this combination would even taste like, but I don't know if I would want to find out. Decently drawn. This one just says unknown. It's the pizza from Silent Hill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's the pizza from Silent Hill. It's fine. It's pizza in Silent Hill 2. Resident Evil 7 DLC, it says here. Oh man, this is nice. More of that disgusting, discolored... It's like the Thermians from Galaxy Quest would eat this shit. Enjoy your nice disease food. Resident Evil 6. So this is a uh, different engine. So the graphics aren't as good. But I will say, this looks much, much, much better. I would eat this and not this. Obviously. So, again, Capcom has some good food. Here's, um, oh yeah, the famous Half-Life 2 watermelon. Someone redid, uh, or is working on redoing the physics in Half-Life 2 so that you can spawn like 2,000 watermelons. Probably have my information wrong, and it wouldn't slow things down. There's a whole wiki dedicated to the food in Dead Rising. I just want to show you real quick. Not going to go through in any great detail, but, you know, it's Dead Rising food. It looks to be generally fairly low poly, but, you know, when you have a game with that many zombies, you probably need to keep it, uh, the poly counts down. Many potato chip. DMC3 pizza again. Here's some New Vegas. Yeah, are those just like claws in an omelet? If anyone knows what the fuck this is, please let me know. It almost kind of looks like a folded over pizza with hands in it. But if, if it's an omelet with claws, please let me know. I hate it. Bioshock. Moldy cheese with, um, with bugs. Yeah, someone's having a laugh. Someone's having a, a jape. A jester sent these in. Mass Effect 3. Some sushi. They have space uh, space sushi? Sushi? I guess they do. Sims 3. That's about what I'd expect from Sims 3 Burger. Even though there's grill marks, the meat looks raw. No. No! I don't want that! No! Psychonauts 2. One of the um, best foods on the planet, as we all know. A glizzy. Uh, a hot dog. Frankfurter. Whatever you want to call it. it it's uh, all the same. And this is the food of, of kings and gods. Unfortunately, this one is on a toilet. And I don't understand the bun. I don't understand the bun. So yeah, I don't I don't know, man. This is not and this is a new game. No excuse for the glizzy to look this poor. And, and like the mustard looks baked in. Yeah. Here's a chicken from Final Fantasy fourteen. Boy, going from Final Fantasy 14 to 15 is a huge difference, isn't it? 
Doom 2016. Really? I don't even remember this. Where was this? If you had asked me if any food was in Doom 2016, I would have told you no. So I don't remember this pizza, but here's my thoughts. It looks like a pizza texture, and it is not very appetizing. In fact, in fact, it kind of just looks like it's compacted into steel. Though it is pizza in a pizza box, but it looks like steel etched pizza engraving. So no, no, I'm, I'm good on that. Sim 4 mac and cheese. You could reuse this if you color it like red or uh, green and it would be a brain. Or it could be puke. So yeah, you can do whatever you want with this. Uh, don't eat it, is what I would say. Here's a close-up on that cyberpunk burger. Kind of looks like a sloppy fast food burger, but not very detailed or appetizing. Cyberpunk pizza. Be shrimp fresh. For a game with the most amazing city I've ever seen. Obviously pretty, pretty empty, but for the most amazing graphics that that game can have. This pizza looks like shit. Here's Doom 3. I mean, for the time, yeah, this is what you'd expect, but um, the cross-section is a nice touch. Gotta give the cross-section credit. But otherwise, yeah, it's just um, early video game 3D blocky food. Here's some Bioshock Infinite apples. I mean, this is common. I think Skyrim is on here somewhere, but if not, Skyrim also has, like, just food texture. I mean, hey, there's a couple modeled apples. <laughs> Another game with good graphics, but, you know, again, this is a game from, what, like, 10 years ago now? So I can kind of understand why there would just be a, a texture of unappetizing apples. Seven Days to Die. Uh... Huh, what is that? Meat substance stew? Yeah, meat substance stew. Okay, I mean, if we're gonna show stuff like this, Castlevania should be in here. Wall meat. Wall beef. But, you know what? Just as a throwback for some Sprite food, this'll do. I will now show you, here's one that I made note of in my mind that has some of the most incredibly detailed food I've seen. Pikmin 3. Now these images don't really do it justice, but when you see it in game, full res, these food, uh, these fruits look incredible. Look at the detail on those grapes. On the Switch, no less. Sorry, the Wii U. Insect condo. <laughs> I mean, again, there's the plasticiness. Oh, God, that'll get you banned on Twitch. But, yeah, this is otherwise... Like, especially this one? Holy shit. Oh no. Uh, mock Bottom, it's called. So yes, Pikmin 3 might be in the top tier of food. What isn't is the Walking Dead game, the Telltale one. Again, with sharp fries. Wait, are these the cyberpunk ones? These may just be different sharp fries. I'm not sure if this is a combo picture of Cyberpunk and the uh, the Walking Dead game, because you know what? If you compare, they look pretty similar. But it's very possible that it is also just sharp fries from the Walking Dead and they did the same thing, but they look really, really close, so I, I don't really have a good answer right this second. Maybe leave a comment, but um, 
Otherwise, I think Clementine is eating some steamed hams. Just like bloody deli meat, large cut. I don't know. Weird. Here's something from Skyrim. I think this is supposed to be cheese. But like I said, just texture. Here's um, Spyro shish kebab. Because we couldn't leave out PS1 food. I mean, you, you can make out the mushroom. And here's uh, Spyro banana. If you are so inclined. I also want to give a quick shout out to a the low poly um, video game foods Twitter, which at the moment has this being featured. <clears throat> the burger and fries from Bioshock Infinite. So Yeah, there's a ton of good ones. So this is just like a perfect resource for uh, any and all of your low-poly video game food needs. Here's, like, jambalaya from Cyberpunk, which actually looks way better than the pizza or the burger, in my opinion. Still very shiny, but... I'm fine with that. I don't know what game this is, but this was also there. So yeah, this account, I've covered a good chunk of, like, the stuff featured. But obviously, here's the Skyrim food, which looks good for its time. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. Let's take a look at this. So this is a 12 minute video on the beauty of Final Fantasy XV's food. That rice looks incredible. There's even physics, there's jiggle physics on the eggs. That's what we should be using our jiggle physics for. Food. Which rhymes with boob. I can't believe there's this much food. 12 minutes and 52 seconds of this. I can't go through this whole thing, but if you want to find it yourself, type Final Fantasy 15 All Ignis Food Compilation. This is unbelievable. I wonder if Square, like I never played Final Fantasy XV, I've only seen hour-long videos about why it wasn't that great, but also amazing. And uh, maybe Square put so much effort into the food that they also kind of lacked a couple other things. Like they forgot about a couple things, like, you know, the Iron Fleet. But... Again, I've heard good and bad things about the game, and that it is actually really impressive in a lot of respects. But I'll tell you what, I may have to call it here, and say that this is the best looking video game food in any video game. And not just the best, but also the most amount of it. Including innovative new jiggle physics. There is so much of this. Jesus. I mean, some of this looks incredibly unappetizing for my palate, but I have uh, 
Oh, there's the triple decker sandwich. I have, um, chicken nuggy palette. I don't, but, you know. I know what I like, and uh, some of this is a little adventurous even for me. This, oh man, paella. God, that made me hungry. Beanball Croquet. That's that's actually my name. Thick and juicy stuff. Fuck this game. God damn it. Here's another video. The best food scene in all of the Yakuza series is the name of this video. I don't know which one that is. Is that Majimo or Kukura? I'm not sure. That's an amazing amount of effort for a cutscene. <clears throat> to like have the chopsticks interact physically with those. Oh, it's Majimo. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Oh, you know what? Definitely worth a mention because levels are designed around food. There was some really, really good looking stuff in uh, Tropical Freeze. Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. I can recognize some stuff. You see the Boo Glizzy? Honor honorable mention for that. Alone. Paper Mario Color Splash. You know how the Paper Mario series these days is all about, like, actual, physical, real items. <laughs> you know what? Maybe they reused some lemon graphics from Pikmin 3, but it's definitely nice. Uh, I guess that's meat. Mm. The dev team had a barbecue, took photos of steak as it was grilling, and used them as textures for the in-game model, it says here. Wow. Here's how it looked before grilling. You can see how nice and marbled it is. Here it is after grilling it a little bit. It smells delicious. It is done. Just look at the color and that shine. Here's how it looks in-game. This is apparently in the game's manual. This information. So you know what? That's a pretty cool thing. You get the... Like, you actually get the backstory of the food. That we haven't seen before. So, um... Probably one of the few accolades Color Splash would get, but definitely give credit where credit's due in regards to video game food and the innovative qualities of that game. I've never played it, so I don't know if it's good or bad, but I, I've not heard the best things. But better than Sticker Star, I've heard. Um, here's some Persona 5, please play. Gang head to an expensive buffet in Shibuya to celebrate their first successful mission. Some nice looking sandwich in there, big sandwich. Mario Galaxy 2. Here's another... I mean, Nintendo does this a lot. Where they just make, like, levels out of food. Um, and yeah, Galaxy had the dessert galaxies. And I... Uh, Galaxy 2 did, rather. And that's good. Here's, um, Galaxy... I think Galaxy 1? Toy Time Galaxy? Some ice cream and lollipops and stuff. And I have here a collection of other... Uh, it says bad food, but I don't agree with that, because some of it we've seen and it's not terrible. Okay, never mind. No, this is fucking disgusting. This is, I guess, Pizza Tycoon. And you can put bugs on your pizza and maggots and, like, grasshoppers. Absolutely disgusting. Maybe I should play that game. Uh, Candy Crush? Alright. <laughs> I don't know what game this is, but it says Carrot, and it has legs, and... Wait, what is that? In the middle. Well, I see the carrot, but what is the fucking... Is it like a gecko? Or something? 
whipped cream curry. Nope, fuck right off. Cured martini. No. Croissant. I don't know who made this pack, but the games are not listed. But yeah, that, that just looks like... If you... From a distance, I thought it was shrimp. Here's the cyberpunk fries again. Including half a burger, which looks even more like shit from this angle. Here's this again. Truly the most atrocious, but best graphics. I'd say Resident Evil 7 gets the uh, prestigious award of best visuals, worst looking food. Here's your Breath of the Wild, of course. Dumb has dysentery. <laughs> Dystopian vending machine. It's from Control. Because this is probably a reference to um, the movie Repo Man. Which Repo Man had like cans of beans that just said beans on a white label and that was it. Um, flat fuck fruit from Fire Emblem. That's a mouthful. Nintendo does, does have some of the best looking fruit and some of the flattest looking fruit. That's for sure. I assume this is from Fallout. It's Heather. Oh, I get it. It's a meme. Good Silent Hill 3 meme. Here's a video from the game Heavy Rain. Cooking eggs, PS4 Pro versus V... Sorry. V5.50. This is one of those games that I will never play, but I have enjoyed watching. I mean, I you, you know, quote-unquote, play. Also, that was like cheating. You see what they did with the eggs? Don't show the eggs, sure. Such high quality gameplay. Uh, this is how I make eggs in real life as well. Did they ever get burned? I should be ready by now. Exciting. Now this may be familiar. Shrimp lady. But actually decent looking sushi. Cold fish. says, couldn't find the original artist for this one. It's fine. It's fine. More Final Fantasy 15. Oysters, look out stomach. I don't know what game this is. It's not listed. Sorry. Again, if you want to mix and match game titles in the comments, feel free. But this just says, I don't know. In Cyberpunk, we eat foil. Fuck. Oh. I haven't seen that. Okay, it, technically this is video game food. But I resent you for sending this in, chat member. <laughs> Kirby cooks Italian food. 
rainbow cheese, grilled cheese. I mean, I don't know. I, I trust cooking, Mama. It's probably great. Oh, yes, the steamed hams again. McDonald's employee training program. Oh, yeah. Best art style. Some more video game meat. Is this the... Uh, this could be Sims. Um, it looks like... Yeah, spaghetti and slop balls. Now we got a bit of a problem here. Windows Explorer just crashed. I guess this food was just too disgusting for it. Oh, Lego City. Okay. Cheesy Pools. Don't know what game this is. Don't know what game this is either. Oh, but you know what? Seeing this out of context is maybe even better. Like, did we need fried rat? I don't know. Here's the McDonald's video game. Here's the, uh... Shambler... Sh Shamblergler from Quake April Fool's Mega Joke Map. Oh. <laughs> I would not eat that for a second. Shape meat. I mean, it's in the shape of meat. Close enough. Then, um... This is the Sunlight Souffle, though it says Sweet Hole. Who made this pack? Taco Car. Toilet Potato. This is Bioshock, right? Wait, no, maybe not. Don't know what it is. Could be. But yeah, that's definitely a Toilet Potato. Um, here's some Tomodachi. Oh yeah, Tomodachi Life had some food, even though it looked like just pictures of food. Might have been... Um, some of it was real, some of it might have been illustrated. But, uh... Yeah, that's a whole other well of food. Here's a... It says here, Weinberg. I don't know where this picture is from. But, mark my words, if I ever started a restaurant, this would be on the menu. Here's some worm meat. Oh, Earthworm Jim. It was quirky. It's one of those things where, you know, it's wacky. I don't know which Earthworm Jim this is, but um, you have burg, steak, and bacon, and I think mystery meat. One turkey, strawberry j jam, and cereal sandwich. I don't know what game this is either, but fuck it. And fuck Webkins. Well, when in Rome. All right, so I think that brings us to the end. And um, you know what? I'm going to say my top three favorites were Final Fantasy 15 obviously is the winner because it has the, the highest variety and the best looking food including its own new physics so that has to be the best unbelievable however monster hunter world <clears throat> oh and the series and pikmin 3 are also like i said really really good but of what i've seen today the best looking video game food aside from just like, saying the names of the games. I think... This one... No. No, probably not. There was the, um... The Hitman desserts that were making me hungry. So that's good. Um... The Deathloop burger and fries, even if they were a little bit... You know, up close, a little too weird. I, the sandwich, again, the dough looks raw, so I don't, I don't like that. But the detail is there. Resident Evil 2 Remake had these big sloppy burgers, which... To be fair, more more I think about it, the more they'd probably be amazing. So... 
that and the Doritos. So yeah, it's kind of difficult to say for sure, but um, big shout out to the steak from Paper Mario Color Splash for being real and us getting information about said real steak. You know, um, iconic status award goes to the Half-Life 2 watermelon. The what the ever loving fuck am I looking at goes to Cyberpunk's Burger and Fries for being a game that came out recently and looks like complete shit. But I'm going to have to go ahead and say, yeah, Final Fantasy 15, some of the, the paella, the sandwich, some of that food just looked incredible. And that was definitely the best. So, and also huge uh, honorable mention to Miramasa for having really just nice animated food and really cool looking illustrated food as well. Like just the, the way it is drawn looks very appealing and nice. So those are the winners. And you know what? I'm going to give that the Golden Luigi Award. Except it's not golden at all. It's just Luigi. So yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and give that award out. How do I get Luigi to face the other way? Just, just, just face the other way, Luigi. There it is. Right here. I'm going to declare the first one we saw the winner. Because it is the most detailed... It looks good. I don't love eggplant, but I would try it. And any other food from Final Fantasy XV, just phenomenal. So, thank you for watching the segment. And, um, fuck Webkins. And goodbye. Until next time, enjoy your video game food. Also, stay the fuck away from this, whatever this is. It's not macaroni and cheese, I'll tell you that.